people and welcome to what you're looking at this is my third video and today we've got a little brown box with a little treat and a little unboxing for you so let's get into it i don't know how to open this box across there what have we got in here looky looky this is Invicta book here the history the making of Invicta nice nicely packaged let's talk Invicta it's a bit of a giveaway to what we've got here today, isn't it? Let's put that to one side. Oh, and here's the... Uh, here's the well-known, renowned yellow box. It is very yellow. Oh, look at this. This actually looks quite nice, actually. Packaged well. Packaged really well, actually. Decent weight to it. Let's put that to one side as well. Let's have a look what we've got here. The Invicta logo across the front. This feels pretty good quality. There's a bit of a mark on it there. Glue. But on the whole, it feels quite nice, actually. So let's have a look what we've got here. And here we have it. The Invicta 1953 Pro Diver. Ooh, feels decent weight to it. Let's get this off. Look at that. That looks quite nice. Nice deep black. Very classic looking. The typical Invicta yellow rotary there. Looks quite nice. That's the NH35A, which from all the Invicta I see, is what they put in all of their watches. Mm, that felt a little bit gritty that did undoing that, but not too bad, it'll probably wear in. Let's give it a little wind. It's got a ghost position there because it's actually a, a date movement. So you've got that ghost position. So you click it out to the second position. But yeah, I'd say that looks quite nice. Very classic, very classic looking. I'm going to do a full review on this. Um, at a later date. I've also um, got myself the old Bond strap, which I'm going to try putting on it. Um, you can join me for that. Um, as you might be aware, I'm new to all this. It's, like I said before, it's only my third video. Um, but I've got another unboxing to do at a later date. I've got another little watch that I'm waiting for. Um, which I'm quite looking forward to actually, but you'll see what that is at a later date. Um, hopefully that'll be here tomorrow, so I'll put the video up um, as soon as I can. Um, as I say, quite nice. They haven't put the old uh, Moody price tag on it this time. You know, the retail price of 500 odd quid, when in fact I only paid £100 for it. <laughs> which, you know, that's what Invicta do, isn't it? Um, they're well known for it. As I say, I will do a full review on this, but on the whole, I think it looks quite nice. Well packaged. Come quick as well. I ordered it from the Invicta website direct. Um, it came within a couple of days. 
you know, I've got no complaints with that. Um, there was there was good contact back and forth with emails and stuff like that. I, I knew exactly, you know, where it was at any given time. Feels quite, it feels quite chunky actually. It feels, it kind of feels, I'd say that probably feels heavier than my other pro diver I've got, but I don't know. You know, that that's just my first initial thought anyway. Um, but yeah, as I say, the Invicta Pro Diver 1953. Um, I couldn't resist it. Uh, I've heard I've heard good things about it, and I'm I'm you know on my initial impressions. I'm not I'm not disappointed at all. You'll have to excuse the uh, snoring. It's my dog in the background. I'm I'm filming this quite late. <laughs> it it's not my wife. It is my dog. <laughs> um, yeah. So please give a like to this video um, and subscribe. If if you like what you see, I, I'm gonna do more videos. I'm gonna I'm gonna get better at this. Um, it's all new to me, but stick with me. Um, you know, I, I'm gonna be reviewing all these uh, in layman's terms. You know, I'm I'm not a watch professional. I'm just a a watch addict, shall I say? Of it's it's a new addiction of mine. Uh, yeah. So please like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Be lucky, people.